What's up, everyone? Let's talk MetaZoo. Where can we get some Nightfall boxes very soon for MSRP? Talk about some secret rares. The Celebes Auction House Mothman NFT that's ending very soon in a big twist for what the winner will receive. And the new artist that's now going to be on board for MetaZoo and drawing on the new cards that come out in the future. So this is really big news. And I have another secret key leak of news that I want to show you all. So hang in and stay tuned for that. So the first thing I want to talk about, right, is break down the secret rare really quick. Most of you are tracking the red ink. The secret rare, there's 100 of them in the first release of MetaZoo, Cryptid Nation, and there's 25,000 boxes. So as we can see on 130point.com, one sold for $12,800, down from an asking price of $30,000. That was a PSA 10 secret rare red ink card for MetaZoo, and that is quite a bit of money. When we look at the second release, Nightfall, there's 50,000, twice the amount of boxes, and the new secret rare is Old Scratch. I've seen about five of them hit the Discord and the internet. It seems that about five of them have been pulled. Now, none of them are currently for sale, and that's probably because they're going to PSA for grading, and hopefully y'all get PSA 10s. Of course, you either want to collect it or you want to sell it for the most money you can. Now, the pull rate for an old scratch is about 0 .002, right? One in 50,000 boxes. And a lot of people have speculated and asked, is old scratch only in the booster boxes? I would say so. And the reason why, it would be a logistical nightmare if you put a really rare card across the entire line of Nightfall in something like a theme deck where people will probably just throw out some of these common cards or never even look through them. And now you have an old scratch sitting in here and you don't even know it's in there, right? You don't even know it's in your theme deck. So my guess is that all 100 are in the booster boxes. There is no box topper in Nightfall. They are put in the packs. And now there are God packs in Nightfall. A lot of people are asking, what, are, what is a God pack? A God pack is a pack of full holographic cards. And at least one old scratch has been pulled outside of a God pack. They say a God pack is about one in every 50 boxes. That does not mean you will pull an old scratch out of every god pack. That means a god pack is about one out of every 50 cases of Nightfall. And that's awesome to pull an entire pack of holographic cards within that box. That would be really cool. So where do we think old scratch is headed? And what do we think it'll sell for once it hits the market? I have no idea. I love the card. I think Poncho killed it. I love how it's a devil 666. I think it's hilarious how it plays into Nightfall. And I think... You know, some people don't like it, maybe for religious reasons, and I understand that, right? But when I look at the card, I think it makes a lot more sense to be a part of Nightfall opposed to Red Ink being a part of Cryptid Nation, right? I, I really don't understand um, how it ties in as much as Old Scratch does for Nightfall. But we'll see where the prices are headed, and I think both of them are headed you know, for an upwards trajectory into the future. I think both of them are actually going to go up, and MetaZoo in general. So the next thing I want to talk about, there's a new artist on board for MetaZoo, Lenumbra Senpai. This has been officially announced, and you can see some of the artwork, right? So when I went to Mr. Uh, Lenumbra's webpage, his Instagram, I seen that he had a lot of Pokemon-centered artwork, and it looks phenomenal. It also looks like he has a sell page where he sells altered cards. And you can see how eccentric and how cool and colorful this artwork is. I mean, check it out. You also see this, this Gengar. It looks like he could be dropped into the Nightfall line, right? You have, you know, the moon, the stars, and what looks to be a black Gengar with some purple grass. A really, really cool drawing. As well as one MetaZoo drawing that I found, a Cumberland Dragon. This is a really nice, cool drawing. Really colorful. I'm really digging it. And I'm really excited to see what Mr. Lenumbra Senpai is going to put in MetaZoo as far as the cards go in the future. So the next thing I want to talk about is in the last video, we talked about the Mothman NFT on Celebi's Marketplace. There's only five hours and 22 minutes left for this auction. And there's a huge twist, a huge twist for the winner of this auction for this NFT, this non-fungible token. Right now, PokeZoo is the top Better at $55,000. That's a lot of money, right? But if you win, you do not just get the NFT. The twist is 
you also get a hundred booster boxes, 100 Nightfall booster boxes, the NFT, and it does not stop there. The winner also gets a one of one promo card of Mothman, right? So you get a Steve Aoki, one of one Mothman NFT card. And how much do we think this card will go for? Because if the secret rares have a hundred, if the person, the winner of this auction were to put this one of one up on the market and say it had a 10, a PSA 10, this card would go for a crazy amount of money. There is only one in the world, all right? Really, really cool stuff. So where do y'all think this auction is heading? Is Mr. PokeZoo going to win? Or, you know, somebody else gonna go ahead and bid 60 to 100 plus thousand dollars? I guess we'll see. So the last thing, or actually the last two things I wanna mention, this has been leaked onto the Discord. So we have this really cool plush doll. This is the back of a Piazza bird. So it looks like MetaZoo is getting into a plush line. So I think it's really cool if they start dropping different toys and I would love to see a Grim Reaper plush or a Mothman plush, right? That would be really, really cool. So I'm really excited for that. What do y'all think about that? And the last thing I wanna mention for y'all is whatnot. So this is where you have a chance to get at least two MSRP Nightfall boxes. If you don't have Whatnot, check it out. It's an app. I am not connected by any means to Stash Loot or to Whatnot. But I think this is really cool that people are giving you a chance to get an MSRP box. And Whatnot has everything from MetaZoo, Pokemon, to Magic, to sports cards. They sell cards. They do auctions. They do giveaways. And you can just get on there and see somebody who goes live. And it's just a really cool show, right? And you can win some really cool stuff for some decent deals. But Stash Loot, Toys and Collectibles is giving everyone a chance. They only have 100 booster boxes, only two per, uh, two per person limit on October 30th at 11 p.m. Eastern Time, only on Whatnot. Any orders exceeding two boxes will be immediately canceled. So if you want one more shot, right? One more shot right now on the 30th to get MSRP boxes for Stash Loot. Go on to Whatnot, be ready for that show, and you have a chance to get them an MSRP. So I hope everybody enjoyed this video. I love providing y'all all of the updates. And don't forget, my next giveaway will be at 350 subscribers. Um, I did fail to mention the next giveaway, the three Nightfall booster packs will not be three to one person. I am giving one booster pack to three different people. So that means that three people, three subscribers have a chance to win a booster pack. All you have to do is like, subscribe um, to the channel, as well as mention why you like MetaZoo and you will be entered automatically. So I really appreciate all of you and I will see you very soon on the next video. See y'all later.